Hello dear, welcome to another episode. This lesson is for JavaScript intermediate developers. After taking this course, you should be able to develop an interactive website. Today's topic is titled Generating Unique ID and Random Numbers. It is possible to build image slider based on random numbers. Random numbers are used especially in game theory where certain outcomes are gotten from events. This way, neither the developer or the user can predict the outcome of the result. This kind of provides an artificial intelligence or makes the computer to think. Random number can thus be used to produce unique ID. Unique ID can be used to uniquely identify products, goods, or services when inserting data into a database. This episode, episode focuses on generating unique ID and random numbers. So back in our sublime, to generate a unique ID is the noun method from the date object. So I can call this anything, let's just call it user ID. So variable user ID is equals to date dot now method. So we can just alert this date dot now method that is the user ID. Control S that and run that in your Chrome, and you can see a unique ID has just been created. So the more you are refreshing this browser, the more unique ID is being generated. The date dot now method return the number of milliseconds elapsed since January 1st, 1970 at about 12 o'clock UTC. So what you are seeing here right now is just milliseconds that has been elapsed from January 1st, 1970. As I'm talking to you right now, I've just elapsed some seconds and the, and the date dot now method return the number of seconds that has been elapsed since January 1st 1970 so this particular method will always produce something unique because it's being generated every seconds so let's get rid of this and let's go into the next one generating random numbers so to generate a random number all you need is the mass.random method when you use the mass.random method, you are going to generate a random number or a decimal random number between two particular values, that is 0 and 1. 0 is inclusive, but 1 is not inclusive. In mathematics, we write it as 0 is less than or equal to x and x is less than 1. So what I'm just going to do here is to alert this particular method so that we can see what is going on so let's just alert this alert random mass dot random you can see 0 0.48 something something if you refresh it again 0 0.6 so this particular numbers that is being generated we always be 0 point something it can be 0 0.9 it can be 0 0.8 it can be 0 0.6 or anything but it can never be one so this seems absolutely useless to us but watch and see when we multiply this particular value with any integer of our choice let's just say 100 when we multiply this particular random number with any integer of our choice let's refresh again and you will see you are seeing 28 .4, you are seeing 44 now 55 point something so what is being generated here is a random number between 0 and 100. Remember that 100 is not inclusive. That is, the random number that is being generated here is 0 to 99. When you count this particular number from 0 to 99, what you have is 100. It simply means that if I want to generate a random number between 0 to 100, all I just need to do is to change this particular value to 101. So right now, I can generate any number between 0 to 100. So
so to write that in a more matured way i'll just say 100 plus one but i don't really like this decimal value that is being generated here this 55.05 so what i want is something more of an integer so what i'm going to do is to run this particular thing either downward or upward for this particular episode we'll run this particular number downward to run a particular number downward you use the mass.floor function so i'm just going to put the brackets over there Control s that and run that in your browser and you can see one let's see again okay one sorry i'm making a mistake here it's supposed to be here okay Control s that and run that in your browser you can see 15 yes we have been we can generate any random number between 0 to 100 but the type of random number that i want is something specific like i want to generate a random number between 50 to 100 or between 10 to 25 or as in the case of dice between 1 to 6 or sorry between 0 to 6 oops sorry my bad a dice is from 1 to 6 not 0 to 6 anyway who cares what i really want is i want to generate something that is specific between two number so let's just pick an example i want to generate a random number between 20 and 50 how am i going to do that first of all i'm going to be generating a random number between 0 to 50 remember that 50 is not inclusive to include 50 is either you do 51 or 50 plus 1 but don't worry about that i'm just going to show you a very cool way of writing the plus 1 so right now i'm generating a random number between 0 to 50 what i want is from 20 to 50 so the first thing that i'm going to do is to minus 20 so when you minus 20 this particular place became become 30 so i'm generating a random number between 0 to 30. so it simply means that i need to put my 20 back so what am i telling the program i'm saying hey dear any number that you generated is going to be between 0 to 30. when you generate for instance 0 add 20 to it making it 20. When you generate for instance 30 add 20 to it oops let me explain that again when you generate any number this number is going to be between 0 to 30 so when you generate for instance 0 add 20 to it it make it become 20 when you generate for instance 30 add 20 to it it make it become 50 so let's say for example if you want to generate any random number from 70 to 100 all you just need to do is to use 100 to minus 70 then you will include your 70 now remember there is always a plus one that is you are generating a random number from zero to that specific number in this case it is 30 so it's either you do it 101 or you can simply do 100 minus 70 plus 1. So there you go. This is how you can generate any random number between specific interval that you want. But this particular code is a little bit cumbersome. So let's just try as much as possible to make it very easy. To do that, we create a particular function and name it rand our rand function is going to take um, a minimum value and a maximum value so i'm just going to change this to maximum change this to minimum minimum plus one then change this to minimum lastly i'm going to remove the alert statement and i'm just going to return this particular statements that i've just written so we want to try this out with a very small number 
so let's just say between 0 to 2 I'll just call my rand function let me alert that call my rand function and I'm going to include um, from 0 to 2 control s that run that in my browser you can see one let's see if I can generate two still one um, still generating one yeah I can I can generate two but I'm not generating zero I'm just trying to look for zero so since I cannot really get zero then my parentheses have to work with it so I'm just going to put a left open bracket and I'm going to include another open bracket here so that this particular statement will say hey anything I have here that's what I'm multiplying with the random number and the particular random number will plus with the minimum number so control S there and let's see if we can get zero out of this particular yeah we have zero so it's working fine let's see again we have one I'm trying to look for two uh, yeah we have two so this particular random number is working absolutely perfect so see you in the next episode. Goodbye.